We didn't want to spend 30 bucks. <gasps> Hello, YouTube. So as you can see behind me, Bernard was swinging all last night. He is on a little swing set. Yeah, there he is, just swinging along right in front of the bathroom. I got up earlier this morning and it was dark and he almost took off my head. He was swinging all last night on this toilet paper roll. Little cool setup he got here. He is the knockoff elf. He's not really the real one. We didn't want to spend 30 bucks. <gasps> you killed Bernard. No! Bernard! All right, guys, I am not even making this up. I went down to let Gaynor do his business. And when I was down there, we have a lot of trees where he likes to do his business. And I'm not even kidding. When there was a squirrel that was I'm telling you like maybe from there to that light from me. So not far away. And I look up and he is hissing at me. This thing is looking at me, hissing at me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this thing doing? It looked, I'm not even kidding. It looked like he was about to pounce on me. And so I would move like a little bit farther away and try to pick up, you know, Gaynor's uh, business. And anytime I got closer to the ground, he was hissing at me even more. And he looked like he was about to jump the whole time. And so I'd walk around, like walk away from him a little bit. He'd go to another branch and he'd start hissing at me again. I so wish I had my camera because I cannot make this stuff up. It was ridiculous. And the whole time, like Gaynor bark at this thing because he's just looking at him. But of course, when Gaynor's sitting there doing his business, he does not bark at all. So he's just sitting there <laughs> and just looking at the squirrel about to jump on me. But we're going to go back there uh, later on today to see if this squirrel is back because it was no joke. And Shelby read. I was like, I have never seen this before. I've been around squirrels, you know, my whole life. And I've never had a squirrel sit there and hiss at me. But she actually looked it up and she said that squirrels will, like, hiss at you and get mad if you get near their nuts. These nuts? <laughs> That's all over the ground. So, apparently when I was going down there picking up Gaynor's, uh, you know, business, he was thinking I was actually getting his nuts. These nuts? <laughs> That is crazy. So we're gonna go down there and visit him later on to see if he'll do it again because the whole time I was like, I so wish I had my camera. I did not have my phone, did not have my camera, nothing. So now anytime I go down there to take Gainer, I'm gonna have to bring my camera. All right, I'm looking for the squirrel. I'm out here where I was last time picking up these guys' nuts. These nuts? <laughs> and I'm walking out here, so we're gonna try to see if we see him again. Oh my gosh, there he is. Can you see him? I don't know if you can see him and it's not wanting to zoom. Right there. There he is. So we're going to act like we're picking up his nuts. We're going to bait him. And I don't know where he went now. Squirrely. And of course it's starting to rain on me now. And he's not coming down. I think he went to his nest. Dang it. I think he's gone. So I'll be back, sucker. I'll be back. So we did not get attacked by a squirrel, but we're going to try later on. So let's transition now until we're ready for church. All right, so we're at church. We're walking into church Watch and it's raining. Oh, it dang it. Away. It's water puddles everywhere. And we got the jankiest I can't umbrella it. ever. Look at this thing. It's like broken and it's tiny. I'm not under it. Oh my gosh. You're being selfish. Not. The camera so takes the priority. Camera. Oh, over me? Oh my. <laughs> It's more expensive than your hair getting wet. We have cookies today. She's mixing it makes coffee mocha. with hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. Mocha. Pretty. And again, we forgot the bags. Now I've known, I've seen the comments, people asking, oh, you know, why are you doing Vlogmas? Vlogmas is for girls. I bet those people wouldn't say that to my face. I'm crazy. I'd freaking beat their butt. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't, I wouldn't beat anyone. But seriously, if they did say that to my face, I would beat their butt. So this is what most of my Sunday consists of. 
Uh, I'm working on plans for my clients. So as you can see here, I just got a template right there and I write down all their exercises and stuff. So each one of my clients that I do, uh, their programs are just designed uh, for them. So it's not just a plan that I send out just to all my clients. Uh, it's for individuals. So if someone needs to work on, let's say their chest more, if that's their weaknesses, then I'm gonna focus more on their chest. And if their biceps or something is one of their strong points, I'm not gonna work them as much. So each program takes me about, I would say, 45 minutes to make. So it's a good long time for each one of my clients. It is 10 o'clock. This day has absolutely flown by. I'm not even kidding when I say I've been sitting on my computer uh, since two o'clock. So I came home after church and we went to Walmart, picked up uh, different groceries and stuff for dinner and I have been working uh, nonstop. Just got up to eat and you know use the restroom and that is it. I've been working on the computer this whole time. I've been working on clients, plans, sent them all to them and had to edit uh, yesterday's vlog. So I got done with that, uploaded it, so I'm com I am done now. So now it's 10 o'clock and the night, or the day is pretty much over. I did not get to even work out. I was planning on working out, was not gonna take an off day, but had to finish all this up. So uh, instead of having a lot of footage for the vlog today, because I, it would not be very interesting sitting here watching me work, so you can go and be sure to watch the Snapchat Christmas. Uh, I'll be posting that uh, the same day. So make sure you go check that out. Please, guys, if you like it and stuff, share it. I'm going to also put it on my Facebook page so you can share it to Facebook and share the YouTube video. Uh, so that's what's going on right now. Just um, going to relax for a little bit before heading to bed. So we bought an extension cord when we were at Walmart. So look at our patio now. We got lights. A little strand of lights. So now even the outside is festive for Christmas. All right, so since I don't have uh, that much footage for today, and I, I gotta stop saying all right. I think I start every sentence with all right. All right, all right, all right. I'm just gonna have to stop. So um, I had a question that I get a lot as far as what cameras do I use to video? So I would just gonna take this time to show you. So. Uh, the video that I take when I go places uh, is this Canon. It's called a G7X. And I did a lot of research on it before buying it. I love this camera because uh, you're able to flip up the screen. It does not shoot in 4K. I know the Sony Handycam shoot in 4K, uh, but they were like an extra like $600 compared to this one. And this one has great quality in 1080. So uh, I didn't really feel like spending another $600 just to get 4K. And the picture difference was not, you know, that big of a difference to spend $600 more. But this is uh, an awesome camera. I love this thing because you can flip the camera or the, the screen up so you can see yourself in the screen when you're vlogging. And that is awesome because a lot of the times with the cameras, you, you're not sure if it's focused or not because uh, some th sometimes it seems to focus on other things that you don't want it to focus on. So it's nice to have that screen so you can sit there and see if it's focused. So that's uh, the camera that I use when I go places because I don't want to tote around this big sucker. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to record on this one and show you uh, the camera that I use for like home use and when I go to the gym. Uh, so, so this is... Uh, Panasonic Lumix is what it's called. It's a GH4 and the lens on it is a Olympus lens. Uh, it is a wide angle lens. It's a 7 to 14 millimeter and that lens itself was very expensive. Uh, it was I think like $1,100 just for the lens and the camera I think was $1,500. So that whole setup is pretty expensive and then I also have the Rode mic it's a the uh, Rode video pro uh, mic on that thing and the mic honestly guys works so amazing because you're able to take it in the gym and it kind of tones out all the other noise around you so it just focuses on your voice uh, so if I take this in the gym 
or if I take this when I'm riding in a car or uh, any loud places like stores and stuff, it picks up everything because it doesn't have a uh, external mic. So if you have an external mic, it helps so much for when you go to the gym and stores when it's really loud. So it just focuses just on your voice. So those two cameras are the only cameras I use. Uh, I like them both. Uh, the reason why I got the G, uh, GH4 was because it does shoot in 4K and the quality is amazing on that thing and the autofocus is perfect. Uh, I did have another lens that would not autofocus. It was a, uh, it was an awesome lens. I'm telling you, the picture was amazing. I used to do all my workout footages with, but it did not autofocus, and it was a pain to vlog with. You, uh, you honestly really could not vlog with it because it did not have autofocus, and the lens it was heavy. It was like I would say about three pounds just the lens itself. This one is way smaller, so I can actually vlog with it and it has autofocus. That's the two cameras It's gonna let y'all know because I get this question honestly a lot. Oh, and explain the prices on the mic. The mic is like $200 for this camera, and then this camera would run, run you around, I think right now, maybe like four to $500, and not that expensive. When we bought it, it was like six, I think, or like 650, because the reason it went down in price is because they came out with a new version of the G7, or the, yeah, G7X. Uh, so that's why this one went down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and answer a few questions tonight. Uh, so someone asked on my YouTube channel, uh, am I doing a building program right now? Am I trying to build muscle? And the answer is yes. I just got off of a six week uh, plan that I put myself on maybe around two weeks ago and I was working out extremely hard, multiple times a day even. Uh, doing each muscle group like twice a week, just pounding it out. And that uh, ended just right around two weeks ago. So I've really been giving myself a break just to let my body repair a little bit, uh, recover because I have an injury in my chest that's healing up now. Uh, it's not 100, 100% whatsoever. I'm still having to lift really light on there. And then I did have like a little back issue uh, here like, I don't know, three or four weeks ago. But uh, so I'm letting everything heal up and then I will probably go for another six uh, week program and try to build as much muscle as possible again. The reason why I cycle off of it is good to give your body a break uh, so that you're not constantly just pounding your body hard without letting it rebuild because uh, you can work out all day long and kill yourself but if you're not having enough recovery and stuff your body's not gonna build uh, muscle as well as it could if you're you know, recovering right. So that's the reason uh, I do it in cycles. Uh, so I will say I'm giving myself about like three to four weeks uh, just to kind of lay off of it and then even lose a little body fat even because uh, on the six week building plan, I'm eating a whole lot more calories because I'm trying to build muscle. Uh, and then I kind of let my body go back uh, even in a deficit at some days uh, just to give my ch my body a chance to lose a little bit more body fat and then I can cycle back up to uh, to a surplus to build muscle. And someone asked, how do I keep up with my progress in the off season when I'm trying to build muscle? Uh, do I go by the scale? Do I go by uh, measurements? Scale, I don't really get on that much uh, right now just because I don't think uh, that being on the scale is really gonna help me either way. Uh, I just look in the mirror because I can always tell if I'm leaning out or, you know, of course, building fat. So I just like going by the mirror because if you're building muscle uh, and losing body fat, then, you know, the scale will differ because of those two factors. Uh, so I don't go by the scale that often. I do go by measurements and, uh, I haven't measured myself in a while. I've measured uh, the beginning of that six week program a while back. Uh, but I'm telling you in, when I'm getting ready for a photo shoot or whatever, my biceps will measure right at like just over 17 inches. And then in the off season, like right now, I just went over there and measured actually my biceps and they're over 17 inches and a half. So it's just like half an inch in just like eight weeks. But that's not to say 
that it's all muscle because it's not. It's a lot of body fat because you can see my arms are not as lean as they are when I'm you know, doing a photo shoot or contest. So I'm gonna answer one more question and this question is for beginners. What supplements would I recommend for beginners? Uh, now first off, uh, supplements is exactly what the name is. It's a supplement. So it's supplementing for stuff you don't get in your regular diet. For me, that would be a protein powder. I would say protein powder because a lot of times uh, people are not getting enough protein throughout uh, their regular meals and their nutrition. So protein powder can help get your protein up there and protein will help build muscle. Now second, I would say a good multivitamin just for health in general and then a fish oil. Uh, because a lot of times, like me, I don't like eating fish. And fish, uh, fish oil can help with the skin. It's just a great uh, thing to take. So fish oil and creatine. I think creatine is great. Back then, uh, creatine had this bad rep. Everyone thought it was going to you know, kill them uh, in the long run. But all the research is coming out that it's totally safe. And I recommend creatine. Uh, and then for the fifth one, I would say BCAs. Uh, now I take BCAs throughout my workout, just sip on it, and um, you know BCAs can help build muscle and it helps uh, to retain muscle mass. So I would say those five supplements would be great for beginners or even advanced. I really don't take that much more uh, than that. I mean, you can take a pre-workout and stuff, but for the top five, uh, you know, those would be my top five. We have been practicing. Watch, he's gonna drop it. <laughs> Let's play gun. Bang! You're dead. Die. I thought he was gonna die. It is 11.30 now. Need to go to bed. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it wasn't too much to this vlog. Uh, I guess that's just how daily vlogs are because uh, you know I had to get work done. I had to work on my plans, had to work on editing, so I had to get all that stuff. So I know it was not a very exciting vlog. Sorry about that. I promise I'm gonna have a lot more exciting things coming up this week and uh, this month for sure. It's gonna be awesome. So just continue to watch. Uh, thank you to anyone that comments and share my video. I really appreciate it. All the comments I get, you know, I'm getting more ideas from you guys. So I really appreciate, you know, your input on all this because I, I do read them and I do take it to heart the different comments, the different suggestions that y'all give me. So I really do appreciate it. And if you don't already, please be sure to subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up button and I will see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Ew. <laughs> Ew, but I don't have bacteria now. <laughs> oh. Bernard was really taking a dump last night. What? What is in there? I don't know, Bernard. What'd you do? What did you do? He's holding his nose, it really stinks. Ew. And wait, he's holding a match. Oh my gosh, Bernard. Oh my. You can at least flush. This is why husbands can't be in charge of the elf. You can at least flush. What did you put in there? Ew. Look like chocolate syrup. Oh, gross. Uh, you know what he's been eating? Ew. Bad elf. Bad. No, I guess that's good. If he's crapping in the toilet, not somewhere else, like the bathtub. Oh, good. There's the crock saran pot. wrap. I couldn't see it before. Yeah, saran wrap. I don't know what you put there. Elves don't crazy. sit on nasty toilets. Yeah.